I am coming up to the Fall Creek Recreation Area. And I gotta tell you, this is just beautiful. I'm turning on to the Anderson Dam Prairie Road. And oh my goodness, look at those, look at those mountains. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. And you know, I'm driving along all the while thinking, this is why I moved to Idaho. This is it. It's beautiful. It may look cold, and it is, mind you, but boy, it is beautiful. And <laughs> to think that I'm going fishing, you know, that's kind of a that's kind of a uh, kind of a little bit of a surprise for me. But uh, you know, when, well, how does the saying go? When in Rome or when it when in Idaho, do as the Idahoans, and that's what. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fishing on this this winter day. And who knows? Maybe I'll catch one or two or three. We will. Uh, we will see as the saying goes. But oh, look at that! Just really, really a beautiful sight to behold. And I'm not too far from Sun Valley, which has some incredible skiing. So right now I'm going to concentrate on the task at hand, and that is catching some, catching some whitefish. So <laughs> we'll see if I'm able to do that, and we should be there, uh, should be there shortly. I've got about another uh, nine minutes, and we'll be down to the uh, the boat ramp. Oh boy, folks, this is getting interesting. Look at this, talk about an adventure. I'm off the asphalt onto a, uh, a gravel road. And no wonder why they said four wheel, four wheel drive recommended. Look at this. All right, it shouldn't be too long before I'm down to the, down to the dam. Wow. This is really, really something else. And there would be the dam. I'll be dam. Look at that. There's the Anderson Dam. And that water looks cold. To think I'm going to be standing in that water. Oh, boy. Oh, this is really, this is really something else. What a, uh, what an adventure telling me that it's it's 30 degrees outside right now but here's the road going down uh, I'm holding the holding the camera out the window and uh, it, it's cold it is really really cold well I've come to the I've come to the dam and if I go to the right, I would take a, uh, a spillway. Well, I'd go to the, the spillway. But I think that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that I actually want to drive over the dam. Look at this. Now, they got a red light, which just turned green. But here we, uh, here we go, as the saying goes. Oh, this is really what an adventure. You know, it's nice to nice to get out of the house. And uh oh, look at that water just over there. Isn't that something? Wow. And here we go across the across the dam. Fantastic. You know, I would think that for future future events such as this, you know, the the, the Boise Fly Fishing Club would re be able to share a uh, share a video such as this. Got to be careful. They so don't. <laughs> oh, really, really something. Look at that. 
I'll get home later and watch this up on my on my big screen and there's several people behind me so we will uh, I got to figure out where the boat ranch is boat ramp is I found my way down just the 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 hill a little bit and here's a view of the dam from from this side look at that all right so I should be down to the the boat ramp we're all meeting at the boat ramp <laughs> oh this would this really will be a uh, an interesting experience I and I hope it's the first of many as I'm pulling in I'm seeing this sign that says anglers I guess that's what I am you are in bull trout country be sure you can identify them they may not be they may not be kept and possession can result in a substantial fine so all right bull bull trout you don't want to you don't want to uh you don't want to keep a bull trout so all right so i'm driving along and look who i come across i come across my first you're an uh you're an angler right yes, is yes. that what I, I guess i'm an angler now too right yeah, yeah fly fisherman Fly fishermen. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're a special breed, as I understand uh, that, yes, right? Yes, we are. We are. A lot a of people think we are, but we're a special normal. breed. Okay. <laughs> hey, so so I, I I'm driving along and I see you getting ready to to fish. Now look at you. You are just decked out to the nines. Yeah, and I you wish know? I were to the tens because it's going to be cold out here today. It is, it huh? Is, yes. Now, so so I'm just kind of curious, and I'm sure somebody else could tell me this as well. This seems like a long way to go to catch whitefish. Yeah, it is. Um, but you're out fishing. And the Mercy out... River is a great river to fish. It is, huh? Yeah. So. Oh, fantastic. Now you're gonna I'm I'm gonna use a 5X tippet and a nymph with a with a little strike indicator. Yeah, so that'll be good. Uh, if you have like a Frenchie, something with a little red or a little uh -huh. pink or something like that in it, uh, red copper john. So something like that would work great. How do you learn all this stuff? <laughs> you know, so I've been fly fishing for like 50 years now. Oh, have you really? Yeah, yeah so a long time. However, uh -huh. I grew up in northern Idaho, and then I moved to Washington. Uh -huh. So most of my fishing has really been for trout and steelhead, uh -huh. you know, on the clear water and the Deschutes River. Uh-huh. You know, rivers up in in Washington. Uh -huh. So this is really my first time going out and targeting whitefish. I've never wow. Done that before. You don't know a guy by the name of Colin Coles, do you? No, I don't. No, he lives up in Coeur d'Alene. He gave me a whole bunch of stuff to fish with, and uh, and we're gonna go fishing on the St. Joe. Have you ever fished the St. Joe? I have up in northern Idaho. Yeah. So we're gonna go fish the St. Joe. But anyway, let me go up and okay, sign up. Sure. Yeah. And uh, are you are you you think you're gonna win today? No. You don't. Somebody huh? did a nineteen and a half inch. A nineteen and a half? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so All right. I don't think I'm gonna get up there. We will see. Okay. All right, Dave. Alrighty. And then uh, when you get up there, uh -huh. um so one of the, the head guys is gonna come back and, and fish with me that I know really well. His name is Troy Pierce. Okay. So if you want to get a lot more detail and information, just ask for Troy and he'll really dial you in. Troy. Okay, yes. sounds good. I'll say Dave sent me. Yes. All right, sounds good, Dave. All right, good luck. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. All right, you see, this is what it's all about. <laughs> it's like meeting the Daves and the and the Collins of the world, you know, the uh, fly fishing experience. It's a special, uh, it's a special breed. It's a wonderful, wonderful group of people, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few more nice uh nice folks like like dave up ahead all right so i came across two more anglers this is tom on the left that's an easy name to remember and bob on the right and you know interestingly enough i've got five brothers one is named dave one is named bob and one is named well tom of course <laughs> <laughs> so you guys you know what i'm a little bit worried this is my first time out and this is your you just joined yeah you just joined as first well outing. first outing. first outing yeah. you guys are really decked out I don't have all well I've got waders I think that's the essential part yeah that. I've got waders but boy I don't know if I'm do gonna you be have 
Are they felt? Do you have felt? No, no. these are. I got, these got metal bars on mine. You got, got metal bars. What's the what's the screws. what's the river like here? Is it going to be pebble or sand? Uh, or? The, so they refer to this as the Snot Rock River. Um, a lot of moss on the rocks. It's a it's a. Oh, it's, it's slick slippery. River. Yeah, it is. So, um, and that what do you just felt? Yeah, I guess I'm just again. I'm just starting at this stuff. There's some areas you should be fine. There. Yeah, just just too. take just your time. Careful. How yeah. deep is it here? It, uh, it changes everywhere, um, and that's the beauty of this river. Is every year it changes a little bit more. Silt moves a little bit different. Uh -huh. um, but uh, so you'll have sandy, silty areas, and then you'll have a lot of rocks. Is it, is this the Boise River? The South Fork of the Boise. So it is the Boise River. It is. Uh, the, the, the name South Fork is not a name of a river. I mean, it's it's the South Fork, of the, the South Boise, Fork of the Boise of the Boise River. That is correct. Fantastic. And uh, so, is whitefish? Why why do they choose this time of the year for a whitefish derby? Uh. Honestly, every time I come out here for the Whitefish Derby, I'm trying to catch rainbows, not white. Oh, are you? But, um, so I might catch some rainbows today? Oh, and bull trout. And bull trout. But bull trout, you got to let go, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you I mean, let go, you you let go, go of go, everything. Yeah, I mean, everything you, you I mean if, if fishermen, fly fishermen, for the most part, let go of everything. Catch and release. Catch releases. and release. Catch and release, the name of the game. Yes. Catch and release, the name of the game. That sounds fantastic. And so I won't take up any more of your time, but real quick, so how does this work? Kind of people meet here, you register? Yep, go register at that table. We'll give you a fish trough. And it's got uh, measurements in it. So if you catch a big white fish that you think is going to be capable of winning the derby, uh -huh. um, then you'll want to get a picture of it inside that trough. Okay. And uh, and then and release the fish. So everybody just kind of goes and you register here and then you go find your spot? Mm -hmm. And if you find a really good spot, you don't tell everybody where that spot is? You just kind of uh, keep it secret? I, I mean, you. I pretty much tell. Everybody. I mean, you'll tell Bob, right? You'll tell Bob if you find a good That's spot. And I'll, and I'll tell Tom as and well. And you'll tell Tom. That's because we have the same name. No, but All right. I, I would go and see if there's anybody else that's alone. Um, uh -huh. You could buddy up with. Um, All right, Tom. Not, I'm in that ugly, golden silver uh -huh. tundra. Fantastic. Find me on the river, and you can come and fish with us. Oh, that's that's a that's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Have see fun. you. Yeah, see you. Good luck. Just as I had hoped. Boy, you know, Colin, he told me that there'll be some, there'll be some wonderful folk here that uh, will take me under their wings, so to speak. And I am following one of those, one of those folk, and that would be Dwayne. Dwayne is the uh, one of the original founders of this club, and oh, he's gonna, he's gonna take me up river about six miles. I'm gonna go about six miles up river or down river. I don't know, but uh, six miles down the road, so to speak, and he knows of a couple spots, and I bet he, I bet he knows of more than, more than a couple spots. But look at how beautiful this is. Oh, this is just going to be really, really a, a special day. It's really going to be a wonderful day. Well, I think we found our spot. Dwayne is <laughs> taking me. There's a. There's a spot, uh, there was a sign that said uh, cow, oh, cow float or something. Cow float uh, ramp or, or something and oh boy. It actually says road, road closed, but we will, uh, we will see. And I think I recognize this vehicle just up ahead. This would be, uh, I think none other than Whitefish, Whitefish Ed. Look at this. Wow. This is going to be wonderful. This would be, uh, yeah, I think this is Whitefish Ed. There was a video with this gentleman right here. And uh, <laughs> look at this. You know, he's probably as, he's probably as much a character as his, as his van. Look at that. That would be none other than uh, White. You're Whitefish Ed. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> so I gotta see if I can't come up far. Okay. There we go. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at what? these two. This is this is Whitefish Ed. With the, the one and Ed. only Whitefish Ed, huh? And my shadow. Now, why whitefish? Why? What? What? What is it about whitefish? You want to tell him a story? <laughs> well, you got time. Huh? When I came to Idaho, everybody bitched about whitefish and what a trash fish they were. So I had to go fishing for them to find out if it was true. Nope. I <laughs> fell in love with them. They're you fell great, in love with them. They're a great sport fish. I've studied them for 30 years. Uh huh. And they are a wonderful asset to any river. Wow, that's fantastic. No, he as, has a book also. Just you, uh, you have a book? Yeah. Where where can people find the book? Uh, any fly right shop. Here. Oh, any fly shop. Or in my van. Or in <laughs> or in your van. All right. So, yeah. what's the record whitefish with the club? 19 inches? Well, the state record is like 21 and a half inches. Yeah. Okay, but you don't hold the state record. No, I've I've never kept them. I've tossed them all back in. <laughs> and there's no doubt in my mind. Well, I've had four guys that uh, caught fish down here, uh -huh. 22 plus. Wow. And there's no doubt in my mind there's a state record either in this river or the Henry's Fork. Fantastic. And the biggest one I caught in the Henry's Fork I never measured. But his mouth was so big he could have stuck a golf ball in it. Wow. <laughs> so you think I'll catch one today? Pardon? You think I'll catch a fish today? I hope you do. I hope I do. Unless you suck. Well, I just started fishing, Ed. I'm new to this. Then I'll tell you what. I'm wet I, behind I the ears. Me up here to the secret <laughs> spot up here. If there's nobody up there, we'll hike up there. Oh, go for it. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, folks. We're gonna get we're gonna get our our yeah, rods you, and you equipment together. Up. All right. Let the let the adventure begin. And boy, you know, I gotta tell you, I am so fortunate to have found Dwayne here. And <laughs> Dwayne's been doing this. Well, Dwayne was probably doing this before I was even born, I would imagine. Good old Dwayne is in his in his 80s. And we could have driven up this road, but we're gonna hike up it so we don't uh, get stuck in the, in the snow, such as our good friend Whitefish Ed did. But, uh, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be fun. All right, so Dwayne's making the crossing. And uh, it's moving. It's moving pretty quick, the current. If you're more comfortable, you can push, you know, the bridge. You know, on the other side. Uh-huh. That bank down to the bridge. Okay. All right, well, look at that. Let's watch him go across there. And I don't know if I'm going to make this. I don't have a stick, and I certainly don't want to fall into this water. So I'm going to just going to watch him cross. Look at that. Now, without the stick, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to make the crossing here. I think I'll go back up by the bridge. All right, so I found, I don't know, but uh, I found a spot to cross and it's just uh, knee deep. And uh, we found our way out here. And Dwayne is, Dwayne's looking up at, you see somebody fishing up there? Yeah, look upstream. Now does that ruin it for us? Well, it's hard to fish. It's hard to fish, huh? Well, I mean, you got, there's a limited amount of water there. and. One guy's already there. Okay, so what? So we got to go to Plan B. I think we're gonna have to go to Plan B. Plan. <laughs> Unfortunately. And what would Plan B be, B Dwayne? Well, maybe we'll drive downstream a ways. And... Oh, go back, to, go downstream, further downstream. All right, yeah. let's uh, let's do that. You look good in the stream, Dwayne. Dwayne, you know. Maybe our fish too much down here. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out. We could go across here and, and work our way downstream a ways. Yeah, just walk a ways, huh? Yeah. All right. Figure it out. I'm I'm a little bit reluctant with my without. A, I should have brought a stick. You know. This is really easy walking across here. It's just shallow. All right. 
And one of the things when you're starting to take up something like fly fishing, there is so much to learn. And, you know, being with somebody like Dwayne certainly gives you a great, uh, great insight. And if I had gone out by myself, I would have just been casting aimlessly into the various spots along the river. But Dwayne brought me up here to a spot where the ripple, he was saying where the ripple goes into the, the ripple yeah. goes. I'd cast right behind that bush. Uh-huh. Let it float down, kind of work your way down there. Okay, and where are you gonna stand? Well, I go out a little ways, but not too far to spook the fish. Okay. Almost fishing from the bank. Almost, yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm going to watch you. All right? I want to watch I you. I some new flies. I don't know if they work or not. All right, we'll find out. You know, I once heard a saying that when something like... Uh, the worst day fishing is better than the best day working... Hmm. Oh, that's good. Fresh pineapple. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's not sushi. But, um, anyway, the, 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 you know, I, I think I know what that means now. Because I didn't catch a fish. But that's okay. You know, I met some wonderful people. Really, really some wonderful people. And Dwayne, bless his heart, you know, I think he really wanted me to catch a fish. And we did plan A, and we did plan B, you know, but to no luck. And plan <laughs> plan C, oh, we did a, uh, well, he did plan C. My plan C, I went back to, I went, I went on to, to plan D, and that was... D as in drone. So I went back to D, or I went to plan D, and I flew my drone around. And I'll show you some of it. I'll here here is some of the uh I'll put together some of the some of the video for you. Or I put together some video for you. And here I'll let you uh I'll let you take a minute and, and you'll see how beautiful it is here. It is really, really beautiful.
Wasn't that fantastic? <laughs> wow. I was showing, I was flying it around with, uh, with Dwayne a little bit and letting him see some of those views. And he couldn't believe his eyes, you know? So anyway, if I'm not mistaken, everybody's meeting back at the uh, same spot where we started today and there's gonna be a fire and some, and some chili perhaps. So we'll go on back there and uh, see if they're telling fish tales or not. But <laughs> anyway, it was a good day. You know, at least I got my feet wet. Hmm. Oh, well, actually, I didn't get my feet wet. I was wearing waders. And they keep your feet dry. But you know what I'm talking about. You know, I got my feet wet in so far as getting out here with the club, you know, getting my, getting my line in the water and uh, what have you. So... Let's go uh, see. Uh, let's go uh, see if. Let's go see if soup's on. I mean chili. Okay. All right. Here we go. GoPro, stop recording. All right. So I made it. I made it back. And <laughs> you know, I forgot my vest. I actually forgot my vest when we were helping Whitefish Ed find his way out of the snow. So I came. Uh, I came back for the party, so to speak. But. Uh, <laughs> But I was late. What a group, great, what a great bunch of uh, folk these are. You know, there's uh, there's Whitefish Edge rig, but uh, no, nah, they have uh, they had chili and and uh, and dogs and all the all the fixings. So until the next time, until the next time, I I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the day. It really was. Uh, it was an experience, well worth the, well worth the effort to come out. So, I'm sure uh, the next time I'll have the opportunity to get to know a lot of these folks a little bit better. Did you catch any today? Sure. You did. 16 inch white fish. You got a 16 inch white fish. Did you win the prize? No, no. The prize is going to the guy that caught a 19 inch. A 19 inch today, was, huh? No, it was part of the virtual derby. So the virtual ah. derby rolls over to the I, person. I see. <laughs> right. So they had a virtual derby and that was a 19 inch. But anyway, have a uh, have a great day, everyone. I gotta get I gotta get home.